What's going on everyone? It's time for another slasher film review. Today we're going to do another Christmas slasher film called Don't Open Till Christmas. It was released December 19th, 1984 and it was directed by Edmund Purdom, who did other films like The Egyptian, The Student Prince, um, Harold the Great, and Nefertiti, The Queen of the Nile. Um, yeah, so this is a slasher film <laughs> and uh, it yeah, so it's basically a guy goes around killing anyone dressed up like Santa Claus. <laughs> Has very this evil t <laughs> evil uh, taste, I guess, for Santa. And uh, yeah, so the film opens up with a guy getting stabbed and stuff, and then uh, and then this you follow the detectives of the case and stuff, trying to figure out what's going on, and. Um, yeah, it's your run of the mill slasher film. It's nothing too spectacular or anything like that. Um, it has a high body count though. There's like 14 kills in this movie. Um, but as he goes, he's um, he's a deranged serial killer, so he just goes and kills, 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 just what you want. But while well, the cops are trying to figure things out, he's also trying to have a social life, and he's kind of have a kind of tries to he keeps a girl alive for a while and stuff like that and he doesn't know what to do with it and stuff it's a very patchy type of film it's uh yeah because it took them over a year to shoot and a lot of rewrites and stuff so it's very disjointed it's hard to talk about sometimes because uh yeah things just happen people just get killed and uh there's not much really going on to it um there's not very much of a story besides it's a serial killer going around killing people dressed as Santa and then he has like some childhood trauma a bit and uh that's the reasoning why he's going for killing them but uh it's your run of the mill slash film there's nothing too um spectacular about it uh, besides the high kill count and some pretty good kills in it and stuff overall the film drags up quite a bit <laughs> And it's definitely not going to be for everyone. This one I was on the fence about. It wasn't the greatest movie. Um, but it did have its charm. And it has this dark gritty grindhouse sort of feel to it. And that, and uh, it makes it a little more amusing to watch nowadays. But overall, it's just a, another slasher film with very little story. A lot of kills though. But that's about it. <laughs> So, there's not really much to talk about. So, I'm going to give this film a 2.5 out of 5. It was amusing enough, but uh, overall, I kind of wish there was a little more story and substance to it. A lot of stuff was just thrown in and uh, wasn't really that good. So, yeah. But if you want to check it out, there's a link to the full film down below. Also, link down below is my Instagram. So, I'll just clips of films I'm going to review in the future. All my stories you have the film title hashtag. And subgenre film and hashtag so you're aware of it. And also link down below is my letterbox at Derek P Reviews. It's where I post my first star rating after watching the films. So follow me on host of platform and stay with this channel. Like this video, share it to more people aware of it. Comment your opinions of the film down below if you have any. And if you have any other slashers or any other films or film franchises in any genre that you want to hear my opinions on in the future, comment those down below too. I'll try to make get to them as soon as I can and if I can find them. Don't forget to subscribe. Hopefully, we find something weird, obscure, and odd for you to check out. They probably never thought of checking out together, somewhat like this. And also, so you can hear my opinions on popular films that have come out, classic films, and reviews on other things as well. And don't forget to ring that bell because, well, we're going to continue with the slasher Christmas movies with Christmas Blood from Norway. So, hopefully, that one's pretty good. I hear it's really dark and, uh, Seems like just my type of thing. So hopefully that one's good. So make sure you tune in for that one. Watch out for all those killers targeting Santa. People just in Santa and Santa-ish um, style stuff. And I guess I'll see you all in the next review. So until then, cheers.